I installed a bunch of free software on my Windows 10 to see if they are still installed and working after I upgrade to Windows 11 on my unsupported PC. Let's dive right in by downloading the most current version of Windows 11. Open this website, the link is in the description below. Scroll down to the ISO download section, choose Windows 11 from the drop down list and click download. Choose a language and click confirm. A temporary download link has been created. Click the download button to start the download. Once the Windows 11 ISO download is complete, the next step would be to download the ISO of the latest version of Windows 10. Yes, you heard me, Windows 10. Open this website and click the download button under the Create Windows 10 Installation Media section. Run the tool once the download is complete. The tool will guide you on how to create an ISO file of Windows 10. Read and accept the license terms, then Choose to create an installation media and click Next. Choose other settings from this screen and click Next. Choose the ISO file option and click Next. Choose a location to save your Windows 10 ISO. Give the file a name and click Save. By the way, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you click the like button. This will let the YouTube algorithm know that it's a good video and should be shown to more people. Clicking the bell icon will notify you when a new video is published. Once the download is complete, the ISO file will be saved in your chosen location. Click Finish to close this window. Now you need to extract the content of the Windows 10 ISO. Open Windows Explorer, locate your Windows 10 downloaded file and double click it to automatically mount it to a virtual DVD drive. Now open another Windows Explorer and create a folder to which the Windows 10 files will be extracted. Mark all the files here and copy them to the new folder here. Now go to your Downloads folder and locate the Windows 11 ISO file. Double click it to automatically mount it to another virtual DVD drive. Double click the Sources folder and locate the install.wim file. Open the Windows 10 Sources folder here and locate the install.esd file. Make sure your file name extensions are showing and rename it to a different name with a different extension, like this. Note the file type change accordingly. Now. Copy the install.wim file from the Windows 11 Virtual DVD to the extracted Windows 10 folder. Please subscribe. Let me show you what happens if I run the installation directly from the Windows 11 DVD. Windows 11 Setup checks my system requirements and shows me that it is incompatible in all possible ways. Processor, bad. TPM, non-existent. Secure Boot, <laughs> you wish. I'm just gonna close the setup process and let's proceed. Go to the modified Windows 10 folder and run the setup from here. Click Next to proceed. Ignore these Windows 10 indicators. Let's not dwell on the little things. Once you see this screen, stop. At this stage of the installation, you need to disconnect your computer from the internet. There are many ways to do that. For example, Disable your Wi-Fi, unplug the Ethernet cable, shut down the main internet router, turn off the power of the entire building, make a friend who doesn't have internet, then drive to their house and proceed with the installation there. Or you can just disable the Ethernet adapter. To do that, right-click the network icon and choose Open Network and Internet Settings. Click the Change Adapter Options, right-click your Ethernet adapter and click Disable. Close or minimize all windows and only then click Accept. After checking your system, Windows 11 installation will proceed. Note this screen showing you which version will be installed and indicating 
that it will keep all your personal files and apps. Click install to proceed. Again, ignore this. It's not important. It's actually installing Windows 11. Your computer will restart as part of the installation process. Note the Windows 11 logo after the restart. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, please add them in the comments section below. Once the installation is complete, you can use the same credentials as you used before to log in to Windows 11. Run Winver to see the version of Windows 11. As you can see here, the Ethernet adapter has been enabled automatically during the installation process. You can now open the settings and check for updates. Note that there is no restriction with installing Windows updates. After the installation and another restart, look into the updates history to see what updates have been installed. Now let's go and check my installed apps. Google Chrome, check. Firefox, check. GIMP, check. As you can see, I had no problems upgrading to Windows 11 and all my apps are working. So thanks for watching and enjoy your upgrade.